welcome to Cultivating Inner Beauty, where we're all about loving our healthy selves from nutrition, hair, and skincare. And that, my friend, starts from so in my last video. I shared with you the benefits chia seeds has for our skin health, as well as sharing with you three recipes that you can do at home for clear, glowing skin when it comes to chia seeds. And this week is nothing new. I want to continue learning about chia seeds, but this time I want to focus on our overall health. Now, I've been using chia seeds in my smoothies for some time now, and I love how it makes me feel. It makes me feel great, and it makes my smoothies taste even better. And it has a lot of benefits, which I'll tell you about right now. When you add chia seeds to your diet, you're getting B vitamins, your iron, your protein. You're getting a good source of fiber. It's helping with the health of your cholesterol as well as your bone health because it's a rich source in calcium. Chia seeds is known for controlling your appetite as well as contributing to weight loss when you consume enough of it. And when you have chia seeds at the start of your day, it's also a great source of energy. So chia seeds has a lot of great benefits. But with all that being said, it's also important for us to know the side effects if we consume too much chia seeds because, yeah, unfortunately, I experienced that and I do not want you to go through that. So let's go through the side effects. So too much chia seeds can be a bad thing. And I wish I paid attention with, before this happened to me, but I learned the hard way and I'm going to share with you, not too much information, but I'm going to share with you what happened. So in general, when you consume too much fiber, um, it can lead to abdominal pain as well as bloating, constipation, diarrhea, all of that nasty stuff. And um, When I tell you I was in so much pain, my stomach was hurting for like two, three days. It was the worst pain I've ever experienced before. And I don't wish that on nobody. So make sure to pay attention to the recommended amount when it comes to anything that's high in fiber because too much can be a bad thing. Um, I believe the recommended amount for chia seeds for adults, I believe it's at least two tablespoons daily. And for children um, between five to 18 years old, I believe it's about uh, 1.4 grams um, or one tablespoon, but make sure to look that up just to be sure. Um, another thing that I did and I shouldn't have done when I was making my smoothies during that time, I had my chia seeds and I had my flax seeds all in the smoothie. But what happened was I wasn't paying attention to the recommended amount and I was adding too much fiber to my smoothies. So don't overdo it. Just follow the recommended amount and you be good. The second thing to know is that chia seeds can help to thin out your blood. Now, omega-3s is great for um, your cardiovascular health, keeping it in shape, but too much omega-3 can kind of thin out your blood, especially for the person that's taking um, medication for lowering their blood pressure. If you're taking blood pressure already, blood pressure medicine already, and then you're taking too much chia seeds, um, all of that combined, that could eventually lead to your blood getting even more thinner than what the medication is already doing. So you wanna be sure to let your doctor know um, what you're taking and just make the adjustments there. But once again, it goes back to making sure you take the proper recommended amount when it comes to chia seeds. Do not take too much because too much of it can be pretty bad. So the final thing you wanna take account of when it comes to chia seeds is your blood sugar. So in general, chia seeds is high in fiber and it helps to lower your blood sugar. And it does this by slowing the sugar absorption in the gut, which is a great thing. But for the person that already takes medication um, to lower their blood sugar, they just want to pay attention to that um, because they're already taking medication for it. And then you're taking chia seeds as well that's going to act the same as medication. And you don't want your blood sugar to be too low. Um, so you just want to be sure to uh, let your doctor know everything that you're taking. And you also want to follow the recommended amount. Don't take too much fiber because it is not good if you take too much fiber, guys. And let, let your doctor know and you should be good to go because chia is great in your diet. 
you just don't want to take too much of it, right? So that is it for the benefits of chia seeds and the side effects of chia seeds. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will talk to you next time. Bye beautiful.